Well, here on Al Jazeera Sports, we're showing you all five of tonight's Champions League playoff first leg matches as ten teams look to take a significant step towards securing a lucrative spot in the group stage. King Kenny Dalgleish on the last hole. How did you find today, Kenny? We're here at Lancashire County Cricket Club for the Legends Six Aside Cricket Day in support of the two fantastic charities, AF Foundation and Caravan. Let the games begin. OK, so one man hoping to be in Sir Alex's side on Sunday is summer signing Phil Jones. After an impressive start to life at Old Trafford, the Lancashire lad is looking forward to his first experience of Derby Day here in Manchester. I'm here now with Sean Udall. You just got the last wicket there, didn't you? Yeah, brilliant. Absolutely fantastic. So we had a good win, one by six or seven runs. So uh, yeah, off and running with a win. So obviously you've been retired for some time. Is it easy to get back into the game? No, especially after the last night out with Flintoff. And we're here at Royal Lytham, home of the 2012 Open. And this is what they're all playing for today. Yeah, thanks for all supporting the day. Have fun. Yeah. I have just found a certain Mr. Andrew Flintoff eating a pie on the 11th hole. Halfway house, how are you finding it so far? It's a bit hot, but it's tasty. <laughs> <laughs> nice course. Good, good. And there's so many people here today for the AF Foundation, isn't there? Oh, oh, Sarah Stone. I've got a star, I've got a star. That's but right. anyway, after six years and over 260 appearances, Edwin van der Sar hung up his gloves for the last time. And Hernandez, he's just on fire, oh, isn't no. he? 19 goals in 25 games. It's just fantastic, isn't I've it? Never known, I've never known a season like it, Sarah. Uh, with the rest of the full-time scores, here's Sarah. Thanks, Gary. Well, another busy night here on the Al Jazeera Sport Network. Here on Plus Three, we've been focusing on Arsenal's Group H. But let's bring you up to date with what else has been happening in the Champions League this evening. Sarah Stone's uh, reporter who is hot-footing it around the venue and where are you now Sarah? Well I'm here at the practice table and we're getting to the sharp end of the contest and the atmosphere in here is certainly heating up and with the 25,000 prize funds still at stake the game will definitely be exciting. And you'll get through to the lovely Sarah Stone. Oh, hello. Hello How both are you? of you. <laughs> Yes, indeed, we've got absolutely loads of audience questions and lots of emails coming through. But if you'd like to get in touch with Dennis, make sure you email mutv at manunited.co.uk. Welcome back to the 2011 Power Snooker Tournament here at Event City in Manchester. Neil, you're defeating all the Stevens in the tournament. How was that game for you? I'm talking about the crowd. They really got behind you, didn't they, Stephen? Did that help your game? Um, well, I got off to a bad start. What an absolute nail-biter of a match. You could cut the atmosphere in here with a knife. Graham, so close, yet still so far. Ronnie, you did it again. Ali Carter went 100 up yesterday. Graham was leading for the majority of the game right at the end, late splurge. Yeah, you never know when the game's over, you know, when you've got that power ball, anything can happen. <laughs> 